Hello and welcome to Poke Sins. The Punchy Pokemon! It's a wild Hitmonchan! Ash has had to look up every single Pokemon he's encountered, but Hitmonchan he knows? Alright, let's capture it! Why can't he have that kind of attitude when there are actually wild Pokemon? If you defeat Hitmonchan, you'll become the world champion Pokemon! Well, that's just patently wrong. How does Pikachu know what a boxing ring is? Aww. I'll teach you my secret punch and nobody will be able to beat you! He's an electric type dumbass, why would he punch? It's moments like this that reinforce that they're partners. He's an electric type! Where the hell did he even get tiny Pikachu sized boxing gloves? I mean, adorable, but still. I get the gag, but the spontaneous generation of boxing equipment is silly. Aww. Make Pikachu stop, Ash! This isn't even a fight! Because he's an electric type! Oh, maybe he's a fire type. Okay, one, that's not what Ash just taught him. Two, the f. Three, they're not even electric powered. Ever since I was a child, that bit bugged me. First they're flying off and then he's flying with them? Bullshit. <laughs> this man's facial structure. That expression. That shot inadvertently inspires Spinder. That is the crappiest looking gem ever. Well, this sure doesn't look like an ordinary Pokemon gym. No, that's because it's a gym for actually working out. What's the P1 Grand Prix? P1 is short for the Pokemon Number One Grand Prix. That would mean that the P1 Grand Prix is the Pokemon Number One Grand Prix Grand Prix. Because my father wants to win the P1, he's training all the time and ignoring his family. So if we defeat that Hitmonchan, your dad will come to his senses and go back home. I get that he's neglecting his family, but she's essentially asking people to crush his dreams. Ha! <laughs> Don't worry, just leave it to us! And they're A-OK -okay with that! <laughs> that's not even a flashback to the episode, that's just what he did last time they fed him. And I got Geodude! Geodude isn't a fighting type. In fact, to be technical, Geodude is weak to fighting types. I won't miss them again. What Pokemon is that? Or that? Or that? Don't be silly, Meowth. Lambs don't exist. Don't be silly, James. Cows and by extension, sirloin don't exist. Can't you numbskulls think of anything but If that was a fantasy, what does he actually have a mark on his face? Jessie's risque bikini. Oh, and her man whores, who are all male. Oh god, it's the stadium again. Now we've got our fighting Pokemon. If they can steal a Pokemon that easily, how are they so shit at their jobs? How do they even overpower a massive man like that? These two girls holding up a blank sheet. This creepy fucking baby. How do they suddenly appear in the ring? How did none of the tournament officials notice that Giant is a woman with stupid hair? But a better question is how his own Pokemon didn't notice. Just a reminder, Jessie's wearing a very short skirt. Oh no, not you again! How does Ash not instantly recognize her? Machop is clearly winding up an attack with the right hand, only to attack with the left. The f is that? Special attack is the seismic toss. Most Pokemon don't have special attacks in the way it means. As physical or special, seismic toss is physical. As far as uniqueness, Mankey and Pinsir can learn it too. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, knockout. Primate. Wait, is Ash looking Primate in the eye? Yes, yes he is. If you make eye contact with this evolved form of Mankey, it will chase you forever. Primate, scratch attack! How can it scratch with a fist? 
Also, that's just punching. Mega kick right now. This prime move can't learn mega kick by leveling. Are we supposed to believe that Ash used a TM on it? What's with Misty's dead eyes? Ben's Geodude is hard as a rock. To me, that sounds like he's saying Ben's Geodude. Marley. Yeah, Geodude's fucked. Geodude's gonna get turned into gravel. No, it evolves into Graveler. Just last episode, Brock was being complimented on how well he performed under pressure. If Susie could see him now. I'm sorry, are you okay? Geodude's clearly in a lot of pain. You don't have to apologize. Look at Geodude's expression. Do you really think he was apologizing? Explain the scratch marks. Two great things about this shot. First, how into it Misty's getting. Second, how shocked Pikachu and Rebecca look. Isn't it lucky absolutely nobody is watching Giant right now? I doubt you've ever tried punching a kick, but believe me, it fucking hurts. And a little gloppy glue should do it. <laughs> ah, that instant setting really viscous glue. This is dangerous. You should forfeit the match right now. Not quite as compelling as when he said that to you. If you're a real man, you know when you have to admit defeat. Time to face facts. You can lose today and win tomorrow. Marley. Stop it! How the f*** does she get down there so quick? Also, if Pokemon centers exist. Hitman Chan will be fine, you idiot. Rebecca, oh. How did he get there so quick? With the force of kicks we've been seeing, that should have snapped his arm. When he flew back, he should have hit Rebecca and hit Monjan. Oh, are you all right? I'm fine. He's fine. His arm will never work again, but he's fine. I give up. It's too late to give up. You've been disqualified for entering the f***ing ring. How did they get its foot unstuck? I'm sorry I worried you and your mother so much. Her mother. The person who muds her. Will you be quiet? It's them again! Team Rocket! You've only just noticed! Surely throwing off the disguise now would only get them disqualified and perhaps arrested. That... position. I get why he's flushed, but why is she? Yes, you've called her that every f***ing time you've mentioned it. We get it. It's the kicking fiend. If you can't get inside Hitman Lee's kicks, you'll never win the battle. Not sure they want to take advice from you. A hundred thousand volts will run through the ring, followed by an explosion. Why the explosion? Just the electricity would do the job without being as blatantly obvious. Wait, boxing rings aren't generally made of conductive materials. That shot. If any part would be metal, it'd be the post, right? What are you doing there, Brock? You lost. Ash, this primate has got a lot of natural fighting talent. You think so? Mm -hmm. Why don't you let me train it for a while? Hmm, that one's better than mine. I'd better convince him to let me have it. I promise to turn it into a real P1 champion. It's already a P1 champion, dumbass. This is uncharacteristic stupidity for Meowth. But the way Pikachu returns it to him is adorable. Wait, how the hell did Pikachu get it off? Really appreciate it. Yep, that stupidity is worth a second mining. No one pressed the remote. How did it even shock Jesse and James? Meow still looks stupidly happy. There's no need to worry, you can depend on me. See, even when he's saying that, he sounds like such a prick. You keep on training and winning, Primate, and I'll always be grateful and proud that I knew a real P1 champion. That'd be a touching moment if Ash wasn't, you know, looking Primate in the eye. Why would they even go to this arbitrary spot outside of town to do the goodbyes? Just when they were beginning to understand each other, Ash and Primate go their separate ways. Because some guy who was obviously jealous said, hey, give me a Pokemon. Maybe they'll meet again someday, somewhere. Yeah, like how Ash met back up with Butterfly. Oh, wait. Mm.
minus 83. Despite this being called the punchy Pokemon, I think Hitmonlee got more screen time. 